Hello everyone, it is Susan here. So today I'm going to show you just a couple pages. This is my um, pad, my watercolor paper pad that I practice in, right? So when I watch somebody mainly really on YouTube, um, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do that. And then I practice and yeah. So I'll write down the date on when I saw it. This is actually from watching a video of Ellen Crimmy Trent. And I recently, um, well, recently last night, <laughs> painted a whole slew of tulips, which you will be seeing a lot of. And today I wanted to do some practicing of the bluebell. Um, so this is a typical, I mean, I like this style tulip as well, which is very different than this. So this is just like one I was playing with. Ellen doesn't do hers like this. She doesn't like this. Um, but yeah, so um, this was also, um, one of Ellen's. So again, this is my practice pad, right? Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, and this is where I just needed to put some colors down that I had have in my palette because I have a lot of pinks, right? And I just wanted them down to where I could see the differences in these shades. Um, and then I did, this actually was from Instagram TV these three um so i was practicing those and so i'm just going to turn the page this is not good watercolor paper this is let me get to the front here wow this is king art from i got it at um tuesday morning and the last time I went to Tuesday morning, I looked to see if they had more, and they did not. But the next time I see it there, I'm going to get it because it is, oh my gosh, this is my last sheet. Um, it's very good for practicing. Um, I don't know that I have another one. Sometimes it comes in a set of two, two pads in one. Um, I'll have to look and see if I have it somewhere. But I just wanted to do some of the blue bells with you and um i did do this one which i thought was cute uh this will end up probably on a card to one of my friends and but i wanted to practice just a little bit more and you know, by doing it in a pad that probably cost me six, maybe seven dollars, uh, maybe not even that much if it was just one pad. But anyways, you get you get it. <laughs> um, you know that. Yeah, just uh, it's a great way to practice. So you know, I've been doing a lot of pink. If you can just imagine that, because you know I don't like pink at all, right? <laughs> um, no, I'm just going to practice with some yellow. So what I've noticed is, like, I did a couple that were just too round. I mean, it's called bell, blue bell flower for a reason. So when you do your, and I hope that you can see this, when you do your initial um, line for the flower, it does need to look like a bell. And then you just fill it in like that, right? So yeah, I'll do the next one darker, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, uh, Fill this in. Sorry, I kind of lost my my thought there for a second. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. What I'm going to do is also pull in um, another color, a deeper color, and let it just do its thing um, on this particular flower right here. So, um, I don't know. I just love the... Aussie red gold. It is a favorite of mine. 
Um, so I'm just gonna kind of let it do its thing. I'll just go ahead. I wanna get a little bit closer to the bottom. There we go. All right, so that will do its thing. I know it's really small. You know what, let me zoom in. What I was trying to do was get it to where I was sure that I didn't go off screen, but it was too small. All right, so that's our first one. So I think the next one I'm gonna actually do in Aussie Red Gold. I'm just gonna do the whole thing so that you can see it better. Um, and I'm also figuring out placement. Like what is the best placement? Because of course I'm gonna come in with the stems and the leaves. Um, so what, you know, as far as like composi composition goes. So I'm gonna do one up here, maybe a little bit bigger. So I have my bell, I have three points. And we'll go ahead and fill it in. And I will, I'm gonna put another, a little bit more in that one. I think what it is, is I just have too much too much uh, water on that one. Okay, so let me see. What do I want to add to that one? I am not really sure. I'm thinking, I am thinking, you know, I think I'm gonna bring in, how about if I bring in a green? I don't know. Let's give it a try. This is a bright green. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at how that just bled right through it. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, that's what I wanted this one to do, but it didn't. That's okay. All right, we're going to do another one. I'm just going to let that do its thing. <laughs> Not going to touch it. Um, and then I think I will, I'm going to do another yellow. I'm going to use a different yellow. So the first yellow that I used um, is called cadmium yellow medium. And now I'm gonna do Hansa yellow medium. They're, you know, it's all uh, Daniel Smith, but I wanna see if, I don't know if this one, well, it's too much. If this one will um, blend better than that one. I don't know, you know, I don't know if it was, oh, that really looks like a bell. That's a long bell. That's okay, we're gonna keep it as is. That's kind of cute, I like that shape. Um, what do I wanna pull in there? I think I'm gonna pull in, maybe some Indian red and kind of let it do its thing. Yeah, I don't know why. This happened with um, with the uh, tulips that I did last night as well. It, I guess I just, I have to start getting used to not so much water. This one is like going all over the place. Let me get some of this off of here. So the way that you do that is you use your brush as, as a mop, right? And you have your paper towel. I want to try to get the shape back into this, though, because I do like it. All right, and now I'm just going to leave it. And so what you do to mop up water, so say I wanted to mop up some of the water here, you just go like this, right? And you can see that the it pulls the paint up. So, all right, so I'm going to leave that. So these are definitely not my favorite, and hence why I'm doing them in this particular pad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also practice the, the stems. And I'm using... Um, I am using undersea green. And the leaves for this are very, I don't know, they're almost nothing, which is, it almost looks like grass to me. 
almost looks like grass. In fact, I'm gonna put it in the middle too. Um, yeah, okay, all right, I'm gonna do this again. Let me, let's see, I'll go down to the bottom of the page because I'm gonna let this dry. So what happens a lot of times, for me personally, is like I may look at this now and say, oh, you know what, I'm not sure, it's not my favorite. And then when it dries and you'll look at it a couple times, it's like, oh, okay, not so bad. <laughs> That's what I find out anyway. But we're gonna go below it and we're gonna do, um, how about if we do some opera pink, which is, if you don't know, just an amazing, amazing pink. It is pink pink. It is bright pink. Um, the only thing about this particular color pink is that it is not um, light fast. So if it were to be in sunlight a lot, it would fade. fade. Um, but I still love it so much. I wish that they would make one that um, is better as far as light fastness goes. So I'm going to do two quick ones and then add some shading onto two of them and then I'll go on to the third one. So again, you know, do it three. I like the threes for sure. All right, let me get a little bit of, let's see, I think I'll get a little bit of Rhodonite Genuine. Uh, so I'm just going to put a little dab and let's see. Yep, no, nope, I need a little bit more. In fact, this might not be enough of a contrast. But, I mean, there is a contrast. It's not just a, it's, you know, not a huge contrast. So I think actually for the third flower, I'm going to go ahead and use that Rhodonite Genuine. I mean, these are easy. Do, am I doing them perfectly? Probably not. <laughs> Does it matter? Probably not. <laughs> um, all right, and easy peasy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use olive green for the stems. sure I'm getting it in frame and this one I'm gonna actually attach to that one and then this one and I am gonna let it actually touch the wet flower that's super cool I'm liking that I'm liking that let it touch the flower get this just a little bit darker All right, I like that. And now we'll go ahead and get the leaves on the bottom. I'm gonna stick with that same olive green. Not too much water though. I'm just kind of do that. I like the look of it looking almost like grass. Um, I like that. Yep, 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 yep. I think that that's good. I'm not going to touch it any more than that. I think that that's good. I like that. I do, I do. And what I can do is when these dry, you know, if I like them enough, I can cut them out for cards. I haven't made cards in such a long time. I used to make cards uh, a lot. I used to make them for Operation Write Home, if anybody remembers that organization that was uh, created created by Sandy Allnock. So I've known Sandy, she doesn't know me, but I've known Sandy for many, many, many years. 
Um, but yeah, so I like this. I'm happy with both of these. Um, so I just kind of wanted to come on with you, share my uh, practice pad with you, and, um, and do some practice with you. Yeah, yeah. So, and here's the one that I had done before so I like them right so like right there it makes three really cute cards uh, let me know if you have any questions and don't forget I'm coming to you from the newbie a newbies perspective so I hope that uh, that you enjoy following along with me and let me know if you have questions go ahead and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this and we can learn together. And I am really considering creating a Facebook group um, for watercolor, maybe, I don't know, for watercolor people, for watercolor artists. And I keep resisting um, and um, I don't know, I so much want to, because I want to do a bunch of Facebook Lives and just share stuff like this, you know, and encourage people to not be afraid to try things, which is a lot of what I do here on my channel. It's like, oh, I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> um, so anyway, let me know if you would... Um, like to subscribe you just go ahead and subscribe and hit that uh that bell and uh, you'll be notified when i have a video that goes live so have a blessed rest of your day and your week All right bye bye